Welcome to Monroe, Louisiana, Malone Stadium, home to the ULM Warhawks, and fans have been getting ready for this one pretty much all week. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see a squad from the Sun Belt, the Louisiana Raging Cajun, taking on another team from the Sun Belt, the UL Monroe Warhawks. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. The Warhawks will kick it away to start us off. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. So the Louisiana Raging Cajuns offense takes the field to start this game off. And the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive in games like this, guys, and it's crucial to get your emotions under control. No doubt. In rivalry games, you've got to limit the mental errors and you've got to limit the penalties because those will kill you, Bob. Yeah. And you've got to come out under control. It means so much. We know that. The fans are all talking about it, but it's just football. And that's just a great individual effort by the wide receiver. He catches this ball way short of the sticks, but because he's able to make the defender miss, now he's able to get the extra yards and turn that into an explosive play. Off play action on first down. Oh, he wants it all. Reels it in and goes out of bounds on the left side after the huge game. And the catch and run into the end zone. Touchdown, Cajuns. You want to talk about a great way to start the game and set the tone early. It's so nice to have a quarterback just get himself into the game and get himself established. You make a couple throws, you lead your offense down the field, you score right off the bat. Could not have been a better start for that QB. On to attempt the try. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Aggressive play calling on that drive. Just two plays, they get the long touchdown pass to pay it off. The kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. And he passes on the touchback. Here he comes. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. So UL Monroe's offense headed onto the field. Our first look at them today. Offense getting set for first down. He wants to throw. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. After the misfire, now on second down. He's looking to throw. And he dropped it. It looked for all the world like that would be a catch, and he just got too excited. You make up the game plan and not a lot on the play sheet for this. Third and long from inside their own 20. Throws to the wideout. Oh, man, another incompletion. That's three in a row. And the Warhawks line up to punt it away. This will be their first punt of the afternoon. Signals for the fair catch and looks it in at the 40. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. Jesse, a very productive drive last time wound up with a touchdown. Yeah, mixing and matching play calling really well. Nice balance on that last one, Dave. We'll see what they can do here in this next drive. Yeah, and I don't expect anything different. When you put together a drive like that, I would do more of the same. Keep the pace, keep it going. Got his man downfield. And he gets a big chunk of yardage to the 34-yard line. The Raging Cajuns in the hurry up. He'll keep it himself. And he found plenty of running room on that one before the defense was finally able to get him down. They're in the red zone and they'll pass it. They're bringing heat. And they get the sack right out of the gate. But when it's a play-action pass, that quarterback, he really has to sell the fake. He can't tell his offensive lineman's getting beat right away while he's selling the fake. He had no shot.
That sack gets this offense behind the chains. It's second down. The play action fake. Dances away from the heat. On the run and he'll slide to avoid the hit. A nifty pick up there. Quite a bit of work to do on third down from the 23. And this D would love to force a field goal try. Looking to throw and he needs a chunk play. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Takes it the other way. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but on the great return to improve this field position. This quarterback was having success throwing on the opening drive of the game, in large part because it's a lot harder to throw on third down when the defense is expecting it, like you saw right there. They were ready. Had a really good coverage call to get the INT. Uel Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. And he was fortunate not to lose yardage on that play, able to wedge it back to the line of scrimmage. They punted on their first drive of the game, and now they have to convert on third down to avoid doing it again. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. The Warhawks send out the punt unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. First snap of this drive comes from the 32. They're going to throw it to start the drive. Here he goes breaking the pocket. Still on his feet at the 45. Good run on the play, and he slides to avoid the hit. Nice job by the QB sitting back in the pocket. You can tell he wants to throw the football, go through his progressions. Nothing home. Take off and slide. I love the slide at the end. Don't take a big shot. And the raging Cajuns want to move quickly. Snags it over the middle. Some really tough running there gets him to the 45-yard line. This offense has a second down play. Fires to the tight end. And he's knocked down immediately, but not before he moves the chains. The raging Cajuns will snap it on first and ten. Quarterback on the keeper. Makes it past the marker. And they drag him down, but not before he picks up the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. From the red zone, looking for a receiver. He's right on target. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Operating in the red zone here on second down. He's looking to throw. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical and pass deep. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. And it's picked off. Looking for more room. He's at the 50. He's at the 30. Inside the 10. And it's going to be a pick six. Touchdown, UL Monroe. This time it's the defense finding ways to put points on the board. There is nothing better than being a defender. Seeing that ball in the end zone. Your eyes get big as saucers. Go jump on that puppy. Secure it. And get you a touchdown. Lining up to add another. Right down the boulevard. And we're all square as he's set to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Louisiana has it back in the raging Cajun offense headed to the field. 
hold it, finds his man on the left. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. They'll line up for a second down play. He's looking to throw. Just a short pass to the tight end. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. So they're facing third and short from the 25. They'll try to get it through the air. Wide open downfield. Hit the afterburners, kid. He's at the 20. And he strides his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Louisiana. And when you have so many playmakers on offense like they do, they can score quickly. <laughs> you just saw it right there. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the PAT gives them a 14-7 lead. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And they finish with a huge play in the passing game, covering 75 yards to house it. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them the football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. Facing a third down and short from the 26. They'll try to pick up the first through the air. Snagged in the middle. It's Evans. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they have a first down at the 43. He'll do it himself. And how about the efficiency on that one? It'll bring up second and four. This offense is really going to try to keep the defense on their heels in the run game by doing it with different guys. It'll be running backs, it'll be quarterbacks. They may even try to get receivers involved in the jet sweep game, reverse game as well. But a nice play there. And here comes the offense on second down. From the gun, running back on the move. Knocked down at the 47. It's a five-yard gain and enough to move the chains. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just, I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. To the ground. He's got it again. What a good run there. He has enough for the first down. And the Warhawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Caught in the backfield, it's Cole. They stop him almost immediately. Short game there, and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. He'll pull it on the read. And they'll finally get him down after a terrific pickup. Down to the 18-yard line, it's first and 10. They're looking to pass from the red zone. Catch in the middle, it's Wells. He's brought down quickly. Minimal gain there, still a bit short of the first down. They'll put the tight end in motion. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. The terrain gets rough this deep in the red zone. Third down, they can pick up the first without scoring. The Warhawks get it past the sticks. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goalpost trying to defend their own end zone. He's looking to pass. Makes the catch. That completion will take it inside the four, and the offense is threatening. Second and goal coming up. The give from the gun. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. 
Well, they've gotten it down to the three, but now it's third and goal. The offense showing motion from the tight end, trying to get a read on the D. He'll keep it himself. They were all over him. Nowhere to go as that third down play turned into a disaster. Here comes the field goal unit. Between the uprights, it's good. Here's the return from inside his tent. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Quarterback on the move, still looking. Able to get just a few before sliding to avoid the hits. This is where you make the money on the drive. Ball at the 30, it's third and short. He's going to have enough to pick up the first down as they stop him at the 33-yard line. And on third down, he calls his own number. Really nice job by the quarterback making the decision, being decisive. He does a good job going getting the first down, a new set of downs for this offense. And this set of downs gets started from the 33, first and 10. Looking to move it through the air. Grabbed behind the line, it's Perry. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Second down coming up. He's looking to throw. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Now facing a third and long. From the gun. Wants to pass. Had it right in his hands in the middle of the field. And it trickled to the ground. It'll be fourth down. Signals for the fair catch and makes it at the 20. Uel Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. David, they couldn't pay off that last drive with a touchdown. Now they moved the ball down the field and executed like they wanted to until they stalled out and had to settle for a field goal. I think if you want to take the next step, too, here and score a touchdown, you got to start finding more creative ways to get your best players the ball. Let's see if they can do that here. Moves up to the 34-yard line, give him a 10-yard pickup. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. The analytics nerds will tell you that a four-yard pickup on first down is a successful play. Let's see what they have on first and ten. Just missed his man, gave him just a little too much. Now second and ten. Takes the handoff. It's Hardy. They could have used a little bit more there. Pick up a three. It's third and seven. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. Trying to get to him. And that pressure just engulfed him. A sack for this defense. And a great job by the defense. Dropping in zone coverage. All eyes on the quarterback. Taking away the options. And then the, finally the pass rush gets home. Gets him on the ground. And the Warhawks will punt it away on fourth down. They'll look to pin him deep. A fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. Louisiana has it back in the Raging Cajun offense headed to the field. They missed an opportunity to extend this lead the last time they had it, Jesse. Yeah, they got to be able to regain that momentum, right? Go back to what was working earlier on in this one. And, David, to me, that starts with being the more physical team. No, I definitely agree. Being the more physical team, but understanding the situation of the game. You're still winning. You got the football back. Now put a nice drive together and execute. We anticipate this one being much tighter than the last time these two met when it was a blowout, David. 
And here's the thing. You've got an opportunity right now. You've got the football early in this game to show you. This is going to be more of the same, Palmer. Well, we talked to both coaching staffs and players, and they're all very aware of what happened the last time these two teams played. So expect everybody's A game today. Reese, you're right. We expect this one to be a lot tighter. And they'll get him down after the return at the 27-yard line. Offense set on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Bailey. I'll tell you, I love the play call on first down here. You're just trying to find an easy completion. And the shortest throw on the field for the quarterback is finding your biggest target. And that's the tight end. Nice job. Pulls and throws off the RPO. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. It's third down from their own 34 as they try to keep the drive moving. Got his man quickly. And he gets it to the 44-yard line. It'll be a first down. The Warhawks come to the line with a new set of downs. Got it behind the line. It's Evans. They make the stop at the 41, but it's a 15-yard pickup, and they're rolling with a first down. Now, I think this receiver's forte is his route running. He's a guy that can line up all over the field, but it's not just catching post routes and goes. This guy can run shallows. He can run slants. He can run the option routes and find soft spots in the defense. This guy really has all the routes in his toolbox. Unloads to the wideout. Tip ball put it up for grabs, and I thought he had it, but somehow it slithered through his fingers. Hand off from the gun. And they pick up just one. It'll be third and nine. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third down, he'll try to pick it up through the air. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Man, if I'm a defense, I got to find a way to get some more pressure on the quarterback or disrupt their timing and their rhythm. I can't give them these big chunk plays through the air. I got to be maybe a little bit more aggressive or do something a little bit different. Takes a handoff, and he's going right. Relentless, tough running gets it down to the four. Second down coming up on this red zone opportunity. Looking for room. It's Hardy. And he'll be stuffed. Got nothing. Line of scrimmage still at the four. Not a lot of ground to cover and not much to defend. A big third down in the red zone. He wants it all. He makes a catch at the end zone. Touchdown, Warhawks. The great thing about spreading a defense out, I can see where the blitz is coming from. I can see where they're weak. I can see my matchups. Nice job by the offense. Spreading them out, taking advantage of their matchup, and getting in for the score. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And the extra point puts them up by a field goal. So it's a 73-yard touchdown drive. And they cap the drive with a four-yard touchdown pass. From inside his own 10, let's see what he gets. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. Wants to throw on first down. The sweet feet keeping the play alive. And he has a solid gain on the play before sliding. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Somebody needs to make a play here. It's third and long from the 26. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. 
They'll snap it on first down from the 35. Trying to surprise him with the pass. And that one is incomplete. It's the end of the first quarter. We have the early makings of a quarterback duel, as these stats will show you. Lots of time left, and we are ready to get back to it and open the second period. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Looking for a crease. It's Perry. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it, and he's out to the 43. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. They'll get the first down. It's spotted on the 49. And the Raging Cajuns are moving quickly down the field. Quarterback on the keeper. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. After trying the running game on first down, they come to the line on second down. Running to the left. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Third down has been right in the wheelhouse on this drive. They've already converted a couple of times, but they need the full 10 yards now. From the gun, wants to pass. Takes a hit as he fires. That pass is well off target. He got hit as he was trying to throw, and they can't convert on third down. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines. Not his best work. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. How about that last drive? Just carved him up in the air, David. Yeah, and how about that quarterback? You gave him the ball, and he delivered the goods. Great job taking apart the defense, Jesse, on that last drive. He really did, David. I mean, that was a master class in just reading coverage and being accurate. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. Now on third down after that run. To the ground to try to move the chains. Wrestled to the ground after picking up the first down. And the Warhawks have it with a first and ten. He's going to pass. Incomplete. He had it right in his hands for the pick. And I believe he might have been thinking about those big plays he's known for. Instead, it'll be second down. Get it out on the screen. He makes the stop at the 43-yard line. It's a pickup of 15, and they've got it in plus territory. It'll be a draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Last play was a near disaster. Now dealing with second and 13. Finds his man. It's Bailey. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. They're looking at a third down and short from the 33. Makes the grab. He's out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for the first down. Just beautiful. And that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this. Way better than having to trot off over to the bench and wait for your turn to get another shot. It's a draw. And he could not get loose on the run. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. They'll move the running back to try to force the defense to adjust. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. This defense just can't get off the field. The offense, unstoppable. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he avoids the hit and slides after the short game. Now on fourth down, here comes the field goal team. After making one field goal, he'll need a little distance on. This one, a 40-yard try coming. It's good. kickoff unit set to go from inside his own 10 he'll try to help out their field position 
And he did a good job bobbing and weaving and finding a little bit of running room on that return. Back to the ground game on the left. Pushes ahead for a couple. They'll mark it at the 33. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly out to the tight end. He almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. And they got the completion, but still looking at a third down. They'll try to power their way ahead. And he'll have enough for the first down at the 42. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They'll throw it on first down. Good timing on the quick out. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. One running back in the backfield, and he has it. A run up the middle is stuck for no gain. Trying to pick up a first down. On third and long, he has to throw for it. It's complete. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. The raging Cajuns want to pick up the tempo. He'll do it himself. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've got a really good drive going, but a little speed bump here at second and 13. Fires to the big fella. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Well, this offense told us coming in, they were going to challenge this secondary early and often. They were going to use their speed to their advantage and take advantage of this quarterback's touch and arm talent. And they already in the second quarter, they've got over 200 yards thrown. They get him down, but this offense is set up first and goal from the nine. Defense is backed up. Shadow of the goal post trying to defend their own end zone. He's got it down to the one-yard line right on the doorstep of Pater. Boy, if that first down play was any indication, they might walk this thing in on second and goal. Tries again to get it in. And the defense holds firm. No pickup at all on that play. Third down has been right in the wheelhouse for this offense. Two for two on this drive and trying to do it again and score a touchdown. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They've decided to try to go for the field goal here. And it's no good. They missed an opportunity to cut this deficit in half, still down by six. Well, that's one the kicker would like to have back. That's a kick he should be making in his sleep. Uriel Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. They've got the lead here. Last time they settled for a field goal, but David got to find that balance between being aggressive and careful. Man, I think they'll take that. I got the lead, Palmer. I got the football. I got to take care of the football, put a nice drive together, and just get some kind of points on this drive. No doubt. Lots to be happy about right now if you're this team. I think for this one, though, on this drive, it's about finding the one-on-one -on -one matchups that are in your favor and then exploiting them. Fires to the wideout. Got it in the middle, it's cold. So important to convert these third downs and they get it done, they'll have it at the 42. Looking to go up top on first down. Makes the catch along the sidelines and steps out of bounds. And I think you're seeing these guys in every offense now. These littler guys that they're so quick, it's hard to get a hand on them. Run crisp routes. You can throw it short, you can throw it long, but they're just big time playmakers. You've definitely seen an emphasis shift towards smaller wide receivers with some serious skill. Grab behind the line, it's Bailey. And he'll be taken down, but he does have enough for the first down. The Warhawks are on the move. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Now on second and short. 
grabbed in the backfield. It's Cole. And just a short, safe pass play. They pick up a few. Defense trying to come up with a stop on third and short from the 37. They'll try to pick it up on the ground. Really nice job to convert that third down, and they've got it at the 33. And the Warhawks with the first and 10. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. Yeah, this coaching staff, they're getting this offensive line lathered up and into a rhythm. Now they're letting them drive off the ball on first down on these running plays, and they're getting chunks of yardage. Six-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and four. Caught in the backfield. It's Wells. Didn't pick up a lot there. Moved it forward just a few. They come to the line three yards away from the first down marker. They've converted twice on this drive. And the defense is swarming to keep him from getting to the first down. This is well within field goal range, but the kicker will stay on the sideline and the offense will try to convert on fourth down. He'll pull it on the read. He's not going to get there. Stop short on fourth down. And you could tell he trusted himself. He thought he could take off, get that first down. Just a little too much speed on that defense. They closed that gap so quick. Didn't let him get to the first down marker. Turnover on downs. Defense in the right spot. They stop him after a gain of two to the 28. After picking up a couple at second and eight. Wide receiver now comes in motion. He's back to throw on second down. He felt the heat trying to get away, but down he goes. He'll lose a yard or two. And that is your job. The whole lot has to protect their quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. You got to make sure you keep him upright. You got to do a better job. Ball's at the 27. This offense facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. Fires to the right. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. And the Raging Cajuns will bring the punt team onto the field. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Slips through the line. Little pressure on the coverage team there, and they'll stop him at the 47-yard line. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. He wants to start this drive with a pass. And he just flat dropped it. I think he wanted to run before he secured it. Here comes the offense on second down. Off play action. Quickly to the tight end. And he goes out of bounds after a nice pickup on that one. Ball's at the 47. They're looking at a third down and short. The short hands. It's Hardy. And he was knocked down immediately short of the line to gain. They'll have to make a decision here. The Warhawks will call on their punt team. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. No opportunity to run it back as the ball goes out of bounds. A first down for the offense. Trying to start the drive with a pass. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. This offensive line has just been unable to keep them away from the quarterback. Now it's second and long. Takes the handoff. It's Perry. Determined run, but he stopped that for two yards down at the 13. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. And the defense makes a play, sacking him back at the 10. What a great job by this defense setting the tone early. In the first half, they've been hitting the quarterback early and often. Make him feel uncomfortable. Make him feel that pressure. Keep getting him on the ground. That's why they've built a lead. The Raging Cajuns decide to punt it away. Doesn't say much for your drive when you're looking forward to the punt. 
Another punt on the way. Got to make sure those hammies and glutes all activated. Don't want any muscle pulls from overuse. UL Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. They had to punt it away on their last possession, but man, what great field position this time. I mean, this is awesome. Like, last possession didn't go great. Now you're set up in an opportunity to get some points, start thinking about what plays I like, Jesse, as I cross the 50. There are a lot of offensive coordinators out there, David, and in this position, they like to take a shot right away and try and capitalize on this field position. Let's see what they do here on third and short from the 41. From the gun, wants to pass. And they can't make the connection on third down. And the Warhawks will send out the punt unit. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He'll get away another punt. He's been really active today. And no doubt he's going to earn his varsity letter. And the offense back on the field, ready to dial up ball plays. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. It's complete to the left. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Offense gets set for second down. He's looking to throw. Tosses it incomplete. They're going to keep this drive going. They'll have to make a play on third and long from the 26. From the gun. Wants to pass. Grabbed in the middle. It's Carter. And he couldn't quite get to the marker. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. They'll put a stop to that return at about the 37-yard line. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So you got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen yet. As they come to the line on third and short from the 43, I wonder if they already know they'll go for it if they don't make it here. Caught over the middle. It's Evans. That'll be enough for a first down as he crosses the 50 and gets it to the 48. He's looking to throw it. Going to try to get it himself. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. First down here with time for maybe one more play until the two-minute warning. It's the two-minute warning, and we'll see if the offense can tack a little something extra on their lead before the break. Fires into traffic, intercepted. Got room on the return. And they capitalize not only on the pick, but the great return to give the offense tremendous field position. What a big, game-changing play. I love when you see defensive players. They jump on the ball like they were the offensive guy. So aggressive, going and getting that pick, creating some big mojo for your team. Louisiana has it back in the Raging Cajun offense, headed to the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. With the catch, it's Perry. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. Clock's running, and they'll try to get to the line. Warp speed for second down. Tight end finds a soft spot. They're able to get him stopped just shy of the first down marker. Got to get to the line quickly for this third down play. Looking to throw for it. Catch in the middle. It's Carter. And the Raging Cajuns have a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to throw it again. Makes his connection. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. After that last completion, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Grab near the marker. It's Perry. Makes the grab, and it's enough for the first down before he's dragged to the ground. The Raging Cajuns come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. And he tries to get away, but he cannot. He's taken down. He'll lose a couple. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. 
On second down, looking again to throw. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. And these offenses are clicking already. One of the reasons this offense is so exciting to watch, they've got guys that are dangerous after the catch. And if this quarterback gets through his progression, David, he hits you in stride, these guys will take it to the house. Man, it's your job to do the rest, right? You hit me in stride where I don't have to stop running. I don't have to break down. It makes it so easy, the connection between quarterback, wide receiver. You can tell this is a good one, and that's why they got six on that play. Lining up for the PAT. And the extra point puts them on top by one. They covered half the field with a 50-yard touchdown drive. And they cap things off with a scoring toss from 27 yards out. Here he comes from inside his own five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. UL Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. He'll start this drive firing. Got it set up on the outside. He is stopped behind the line of scrimmage. They'll lose yards on that one. On second down, wants to throw. The pass falls incomplete, and that's how we'll finish this half. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. Toughest job inside that stadium right now might just be the scoreboard operator after all those first downs and touchdowns. Big plays have defined this one thanks to two of the best receiving core in all of college football. Let's see if these defenses can adjust and make the necessary chess moves. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to see who comes out on top of this rivalry contest. And the Raging Cajuns will try to kick this one deep to get things underway in the second half. And here's the return. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. Can hang on, and he'll tell you he really should have made that catch, and he had an opportunity right in the middle. It'll be second down. After the incompletion, they go back up top. He's got it. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. Defense showing plenty of pre-snap movement of their own. The Warhawks moving quickly to the line. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. One step, wrap, two step, squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Leaves it with the back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The D thinking bring some heat on third and long from the 44. He wants to throw it. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. And the Warhawks will try to pin them back with the punt. They're up to a half dozen kicks today. Fair catch called for and made. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. And David Howe, they would love to stick it in the end zone one more time after that last drive. And once you get the defense on their... It's complete! A huge pickup! Can anyone catch him? Touchdown, Cajuns! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Well, this offense looked unstoppable in the first half, lighting up the scoreboard, and it doesn't look much different here in the second half. They take their first drive of the third quarter, march it down the field and score. There is no end in sight for these guys.
They'll try to add another to their lead. And they kick it through for the extra point, and they have an eight-point lead. If only it were always this easy for the offensive coordinators. One play, big chunk yardage, put points on the board just like that. That gamble did not pay off as they bring him down at the 12-yard line. Uel Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Wasting no time throwing on this drive. And the defense had that one well covered, just a short game there. It's now second down after the short completion. The back goes in motion. A jet sweep pass. Nudges ahead for one out to the 16. Coming to the line of scrimmage on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Throws to the wideout. Oh, he dropped the football. He had it right in the middle of the field and just ran before he finished the catch. It'll be fourth down. Hand goes into the air for the fair catch, and the catch is made around the 40. So we'll see this offense make its way out to start the drive. They'll run the RPO and fire to the right. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Use the play fake. Now to throw. And the quarterback was trying to extend the play, and the defense brought it to a close. This quarterback is thinking to himself, I need to get an NIL deal at some restaurant so I can take my offensive line out and feed them more because I don't think they like me very much right now. I've been sacked six times in this game. It's time to get that new NIL deal paycheck. The first down sack pushes the ball back for this long second down. He's looking to throw. Quickly complete. Got room at the 35. He'll work his way down to the 28. This is the kind of performance, guys, that sort of etches your name in the lore of a rivalry. And playing big in this big moment, on this big stage, it is so nice to have a playmaker like that that you can highlight, that you can focus on, that you can trust in. He was so excited coming into this game, too, because he knows that oftentimes your legacy as a player is defined by how you play in rivalry games like this. They'll run play action. Finds a tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there. And he stopped from getting the first down. On third down, he drops the throw. Right down the middle. Pulls it in. And they make the connection. And he's got it at the 10-yard line. Set up with a red zone opportunity. Going to run it. It's Perry. They get him down after a four-yard gain to the six. Going to work on second down in the red zone is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Here comes the option. He'll pitch it. And he sprints to the end zone. Touchdown, Louisiana. They've extended this lead, guys, but sometimes in a rivalry game, you get down and you fight back that much harder. Man, you've seen crazy comebacks and crazy swings of momentum in rivalry games. You just need that first thing to break your way, Palmer. And I think it really comes down to their key playmakers, David. They can come back, but these guys need to take ownership. Now's the time. In this type of game, they have got to step up and start making plays. And let's hold on just a minute here as the officials are going to have a second look. So the officials take a closer look and the replay booth will overturn the call. In the gun, looking to throw on third down. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. What a run for this playmaker to just elude the defense and get in for the score. And I tell you what, defensively, you can't let this guy get on the edges. You, you cannot give up contain when your defensive ends. You got to stay outside. You got to make sure you know this guy's going to scramble and try to make plays. And you got to make sure you keep him in the pocket. 
And it looks as if they buzzed down. Replay wants to have another peek at that last play. And you know the standard is indisputable video evidence, and the officials will change the call. Turning to the running game on first and goal. And to the end zone he goes. Touchdown, Cajuns! Precision blocking up front created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, um, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And with the extra point, they move on top by 15. A 70-yard touchdown drive, and they finish it off with a short plunge into the end zone. On the move from inside is five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. That's the kind of play that can really get you going as they get it out to the 36. They came out humming on this drive, and now it's first down from the 36. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Running toward the tape. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, UL Monroe. And, man, is that perfect timing. You can tell a quarterback drops back. He sees his guy, and he knows he's open. But watch the throw. Deep down the field, Culver, right in the bread basket. Nice play. Nice pitch and catch. He did a nice job of getting it up in the air early and allowing his guy to run under the football, locate it, and then make a tough grab. That is the definition of an explosive play. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Just never had a chance to shake loose, and he'll be brought down at the 24. Louisiana has it back in the raging Cajun offense headed to the field. They'll go to the ground. Gets the nose of the ball to the 25, give him one. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. He's looking to throw. Using the quick game. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. And off from the shotgun. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. After picking up a couple at second and eight. He's looking to throw. Makes the grab. It's Johnson. Stopped at the 47 after a 10-yard gain. The Raging Cajuns have their offense in high gear. The give to the running back from the shotgun. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards maybe, second and seven. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Caught in the backfield, it's Bernard. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there and still a little ground to cover to pick up the first. Let's see if the defense comes after them. Third and short from the 45. They'll try to run for it. He gets it to the 38-yard line, and they'll pick up a fresh set of downs. And the Raging Cajuns have it with a first and 10. He wants to throw. He's got it down the middle. Makes the stop at the 23-yard line, but it's a pickup of 15, a first down, and this offense is smelling the end zone. Looking to move it through the air. Buys a little time with his feet. He's going to be able to pick up a few yards before the slide. The Raging Cajuns have taken it inside the 20. He'll keep it himself. Tackled, but he has a first down. 
Defense has to be frustrated. The offense keeps matriculating and matriculating and matriculating the ball down the field. They go to the ground. Brought down at the seven after picking up three. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. It'll be second down, and remember, they can pick up a first without scoring. Give to the running back. He works his way all the way down to the three, and the defense is reeling. Tight quarters deep in the red zone, but they can pick up a first down without scoring. Third down. Calls his own number. Touchdown, Louisiana! And they add six more to the board with that trip to the house. A methodical drive, soul-crushing, spirit-breaking, and it ends in a touchdown. And listen, I know everybody wants the big plays, the big long touchdowns and all that stuff, but putting a drive together like that is very difficult to do time and time again, and it's demoralizing for the defense. Great drive by the offense. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Uel Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. On the ground, it's Hardy. Gets it out to the 25-yard line, a gain of three. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Got his man in the middle. He's close to the first down, but they're going to mark him just a little short. And this offense just can't afford not to get the first down here. Already trailing big, and the clock is not their friend. Still running at the 40. He's there to make the stop, but the damage has been done as they pick up the first down on the throwing catch. And, man, this quarterback has had a day. With that pass, he goes over 300 yards on the day. Really nice job executing, putting up some yards today. Pretty good day for the young man. That's a good job by the drag route there, understanding its zone coverage. So instead of continuing to run across the field, he settles down into an open spot, making it easy for his quarterback. They get him on the ground, but it's a first down. On first and 10 from the 38. They keep attacking through the air. Fires left. It's caught. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. He makes the catch, but the official's right on top of it, signaling out of bounds. After the incompletion, they're facing a second and 10 from the 25. The give to the back. They finally make the stop, but the big run is plenty to move those sticks for the first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. He's got it on the move. That completion will take them inside the 10 to the 9-yard line. Going to work in the red zone, they can not pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. Looking for a physical attack from the gun. They'll get him stopped just short of the end zone, but they're in business here with a first down. New set of downs right on the doorstep for this offense. Can't make the grab as he was looking for his man right at the goal line. Got nothing last time, now second and goal from the three. He's looking to throw. Into the end zone. And swatted down by the defense to stop the scoring opportunity. They'll try it again after the incomplete pass on third and goal from the three. Got it. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Warhawks. Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. He'll try to tack on one more. And 
And with the extra point, every little bit counts as they get closer. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. He'll bring it back from inside his five. And the return man reaches the end of the line, and down he goes. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. Now they need to put something together to answer that last score. There's a lot of pressure, too, on this offense to have to execute at a high level. They've got to score points, David, but they can't go too fast because their defense right now is tied. And I think that's the difficulty being a play call. Like, I have to balance all of those things. My defense is a little bit tired. I can't put on the field, but i got to be aggressive because this is a back-and-forth type game, so a lot to process and think about. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. And the incomplete pass will bring up fourth down. And the Raging Cajuns will punt this one away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Looking for a block. It's Curry. And good work by the covers team to get the return man down on the ground. They've got it first and ten at the 50. Motion from the offense. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And a good, solid pick up there before the defense knocks him down. And on second down for this offense. He's looking to throw. Got it in the middle. It's cold. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. Quarterback on the keeper. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. He's looking to throw. And that's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact on the play, but no flags. It'll be third down. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. A little screen to the running back. They play that screen nicely. He tried to find his way to the marker, but it'll be fourth down. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. Never a doubt. So after the last drive, ended with a field goal, the kick team out there to send it away he'll start the return inside his spot and the returner is stopped Louisiana has it back in the raging Cajun offense headed to the field they'll run the RPO and throw it right you'll take four yards on first down every time second and six They go to the draw. And they try to run inside, and there is nowhere to go. Lining up to convert third down. Off the play fake. Unloads to the wideout. And it just squirted through his hands. He wanted to take off and got too anxious. The raging Cajuns will line up to punt it away. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the punt team able to sling him to the ground. And we'll see the offense make its way onto the field here, hoping for a successful drive. Trying to find his man on first down. Gets it out fast. You'll take this every time. Five yards on the first down play. Line getting set on second down. They'll run the counter. And the defense stops him just short of the first down. Maybe needed a few more chain links to move the sticks. Grabbed over the middle. It's Wells. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. The Warhawks have it with a first and ten. Holds and fires complete to the right. And a good job in coverage there as they stop it after just a few. And now on second down for this offense. 
He's looking to throw. A shot toward the end zone. And that pass picked off. That's why you love veterans in this defense. They stay locked in on their rules, and he made the pick. And we know turnover margin is a huge part of winning ball games. Interception number two. His quarterback has to do a better job taking care of the football. Don't force it. Take the high completion percentage stuff. Don't always try to go for the big play. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. Out of the shoot. Quick toss to the right. And he'll be forced out of bounds, but not before yet another big play in this passing attack. And at this point, the defense looks as if they've been in one of those dizzy bat races. They've got no idea where the ball's coming from. He's over 500 yards passing. Yeah, this is a Heisman Trophy level performance from this guy. The accuracy, the decision making, the athleticism, everything has been on display. Quarterback and running back set up in the pistol. Quarterback wants to throw on second down. Got him downfield. And this defense was flailing as he weaved his way and got down to the 26. Man, this offense is so dangerous, Reese. They've got dudes all over the field that can make plays. There's a big gainer in the pass game. You get a chunk of yards like that, now the defense is really on its heels. And the raging Cajuns racing to the line in the hurry up. Motion trying to get the defense to show his hand. Caught in the backfield, it's Perry. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. A little bit more to go after that last completion. They'll try to pick it up on second down. He's looking to throw. Shoots it to the left. And he drops it. Just took his eye off of it at the last minute. From here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. Now they'll run the draw. And they did not let him get to that first down line. It'll bring up a call here. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. Didn't make him sweat at all. It's good. After putting three on the board, the kickoff unit ready to go. What kind of field position can he help them with on the return? Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. Mistakes are going to happen, as they did on that last drive. Now, how will they respond, Jesse? And this is the kind of guy who's going to take full accountability. That was my bad. That's on me. I'm about to lead this offense now down the field to score some points. Dang, Palmer. I wish I would have played with you. I didn't play with many quarterbacks that were just like, yeah, my bad. Hey, guys, I got this. Sorry about that. It was more, you should have ran a better route. They'll put in play from the 41 on first down. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Can't hold on. He had him right down the middle, and he flat dropped it. As they get set to snap it, just about to reach the end of the quarter. He'll try it again on second and ten. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. From the gun, wants to pass. Another incompletion on third down. And the Warhawks line up to punt it away. Fair catch called for and made around the 20-yard line. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. Not only is the scoreboard on their side, but so too is time as we open the fourth. 
Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. A beautifully placed ball to the outside and the toe drag for the big pickup. He had the perfect play to open the drive and now they'll snap it again from the 38. On the run, it's Perry. They can rely on this guy to pick up solid yardage when they need it and he's out to the 43. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll run it again. A strong tackle and wrap-up from the junior. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Looking to move the chains, they throw it complete to the left. Tackle is made after the first down. The raging Cajuns are flying down the field. Wide receiver shows motion. The give out of the gun. At the 40, there he goes. And this defense's head is spinning. He gets it down to the 27. And busting big runs like this, we always talk about the running backs, but it's the big boys up front paving their lanes, those receivers gluing on those DBs that make these plays really go for big yardage. And how about those receivers? Not just the glamour of catching passes, but doing some dirty work, too. No doubt. When they get on those guys in the second level and get on those DBs, that's when you break those big, long runs. A strike downfield. The stop is made, but this offense is threatening. First and goal from the nine. They'll try to get it in with the run. He steps and powers and works his way. They finally get him down at the two. Second and goal for this offense. He's looking to throw. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns. If this dude were a kitchen knife, you would be slicing tomatoes so thin your in-laws would never come back to your house. <laughs> well, that'd be a good thing. I don't know if I want my in-laws to come back anyways, but he's been on fire. He's been absolutely torching this defense. They've had absolutely no answers for him. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point splits the uprights and the lead balloons to 15. They marched 79 yards on the drive and it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. And he takes this from inside the five. He was looking for some running room but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Uel Monroe has it back on the offense, ready to go to work. Running back searching for a hole. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After getting knocked back to open this drive, it's second and 12. He's looking to throw. Setting up the screen. And he's a real nowhere man tackled in this no-gain land. Not exactly the ideal situation for this offense. Third and long, backed up inside their 20. Safe completion on the screen. Defense was not fooled by that screen to the back, and they'll stop him short of the marker. It'll be fourth down. The Warhawks send out the punt unit. This is a spot you see many returners try to take a chance, but not this time. The fair catch just inside the 40. To the air on first down. Snagged in the middle. It's Carter. How about this backer in pass coverage and bringing the big hit stick with him, too? From the gun, the running back has it. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Third and short now. They snap it from their own 46. They'll try to get the first through the air catch in the middle it's Carter that'll be enough for the first down and they'll mark it at the 48 and the raging Cajuns come to the line with a new set of downs going up top on first down looking down the middle nice defensive play to get a hand in there and knock it away now on second down after the incompletion he's looking to throw Got it in the middle. It's Carter. 
And he might be known for run fits, but that was a sure and heavy tackle on the tight end. Back to the air one more time. Quickly complete. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Used to play fake. Now to throw. The short hands. It's Johnson. He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game as him on the doorstep. You know, it's interesting. At this point of the game, with the lead in the fourth quarter, the defense is expecting them to run the ball. And because they're putting so many guys close to the line of scrimmage, they're taking advantage, throwing it. Two straight completions now back-to-back. -back. The Raging Cajuns line it up with a first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. Touchdown, Cajuns! And the route is on. Another rushing touchdown. That's now two on the game. This offense thought they could come into this one running the ball, being the more physical team, and they look like it right now. Ready to try the point after. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards and closed the deal with a three yard touchdown run. Here he comes from inside his own five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. They'll throw it on first down. Grabbed in the middle. It's Hardy. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. Second and short now after that completion. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Got a man in the middle. Open runway ahead. The 20. The 10. And he motors into the end zone. Touchdown, UL Monroe like a Thanksgiving turkey. They're just being carved. No shot. They have no idea how to get in this quarterback's head. He's on fire. Everything he's doing is working defensively. We gotta figure something out. We gotta try to do something a little bit different. Bring more pressure. At this right shoot, he's on so much fire, you might as well just send everybody. Blitz everybody, live with the results, because everything else ain't working anyways. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. He'll set up to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Bailey. And he laid the lumber to stop him from getting the first down. On the move from inside is five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Louisiana has it back in the raging Cajun offense headed to the field. Comes out throwing on first down. Just a bit of a misfire there as they can't make the connection. Now on second down. He's looking to throw. He puts a lot of air under it down the sideline. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. Looks as if we have an injury on that last play, and we'll take a break to check him out. Third and 10, still backed up inside their own 20. This drive hasn't really gotten started. From the gun, wants to pass. Starting to feel a little pressure. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. And the Raging Cajuns will punt it away on fourth down. He'll settle for some pretty good field position and make the fair catch at around the 35. UL Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. It's loose. Once that ball was loose, offense didn't have a chance. Defenders everywhere. It's a turnover. 
I'll tell you, honestly, I don't know what that player could have done to hold on to that football. That defender absolutely popped him. He knocked him into next week. There was no chance he was holding on to that ball. And the offense heads out onto the field to get the drive start. From the gun, running back gets to give. And he'll pick up one. It brings up second and nine. Win with the running game on first down, now back at it. They'll give it to the back. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. Wants to throw on third. Grab near the sticks. It's Bernard. Good job running that route to get past the sticks because he got nothing after the catch. Off the play fake on first down. He's got his man. And he's brought down after a nice game. The Raging Cajuns have this offense rolling. Out of the gun, the inside give. They get him on the ground at the three-yard line, but this defense is taking some punches. They've got a lead here in the fourth quarter, and there's certainly still plenty of football to go, but this is where you'd love to control the flow of the game, right? You want to dictate everything to the defense, and you do that by running the football. That was a really nice run. This offensive line is firing off late. Looks like they're getting stronger as the game goes on, and that is a good sign for the offense. He's all the way down to the two-yard line. Just spectacular execution there. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. On third and short, they'll try to pick it up with the pass. That pass not closes. He got drilled trying to deliver it, and it'll bring up fourth down. They'll try to pick up the first. Touchdown, Louisiana! And the stomping has commenced. And how about this offense? A big situation on fourth and goal, and you trust your running back. You trust your offensive line. You trust the physicality of this unit, and they reward that trust, and they punch it in for six. The AT unit on the field. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. So they move the ball 37 yards on the drive and finish the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. This one feels as if it's starting to get away from them a little bit, Jesse. Yeah, Reese, there's a lot of teams in college football at this point that would just quit. So, David, we're going to find out a lot about this team right here. Yeah, just running out of opportunities. You, you give opportunities away like this, you're trailing. Every possession is going to be important from here on in. Just had to get rid of that one. Good job to fight another play. This defense has kept them backed up. Now one more stop, and they can get off the field on third and long. Looking left. Oh, man, another incompletion. That's three in a row. And the Warhawks will bring the punt team onto the field. Offense making its way onto the field to start the drive. Going to the running game. Hard running there. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff that teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game, you want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. Couldn't ask for much more there. A first down, and they're down to the 42. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Out of the gun, the give to the back. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. And they'll wrestle him to the ground after a short game. Man down on the play as the officials take a break to let him be checked out. They've got to get the football to the 32 to pick up the first down. He leaves it with his back. 
He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. Now on fourth down, they'll try to come away with three. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. Well, you're always going to wonder what would have, could have, should have happened on fourth and inches had they gone for it. But with this kicker, I like taking three points and putting it on the board. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. Here he comes with the return. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. UL Monroe has it back in the offense, ready to go to work. Wants to throw on first down. Finds his target down the middle. Moves it out to the 34-yard line. A nice 15-yard gain on that one. He's going to pass. Going to try to pop one on the screen. They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. They'll throw it on first down. Using the back as a receiver on the screen. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Set up for second and short after that completion. They want to just keep throwing it. Catch in the middle. It's Evans. And they make the tackle, but he has plenty for the first down. The Warhawks come to the line with a fresh set of downs. Looking to go up top on first down. Got his man downfield. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. Quick strike complete. You know, oftentimes these slot receivers, they're not the biggest guys in the world, but they're really good at finding the open spaces in the middle of the field. And you saw that guy attack the defense in the perfect spot, making life easy for his QB. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. He's got it and still on his feet. Couldn't quite nudge it in. Not sure you could get much closer, but it'll be first and goal. Trying to run it in. Touchdown, Warhawks! And they take it in for six more points. Getting set for the point after. Hit that one with some aggression for the point after. They put together an 81-yard drive. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Here comes the Louisiana offense onto the field. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. Yeah, and oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Find his tight end. Open space at the 25. Brought down at the 21-yard line, a 15-yard pickup, and they are in prime position to get points now. Throws to the wideout. Makes the grab. Gets it inside the five, down to the four, and it'll be first and goal. The offense threatening. Close to the end zone now with a new set of downs. With the run on first and goal. He pushes it forward all the way to the two-yard line. Now on second and goal. Fast motion from the offense. Now on the move. Touchdown, Raging Cajuns! And the punishment has been extended. The offense flexes its muscle a bit and widens the gap. 
take a little exhale. You know, you, you did your job, you got points, now you put your defense in a position where, hey, go out and get another stop. We're in great shape, so the offense definitely taking care of their business. On to attempt the try. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. A very efficient five-way scoring drive. And finished the deal with the short touchdown run from the two. He'll bring it back from inside his five. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Guys, we'll see what this Warhawk offense can get done this time. He wastes no time and comes out throwing. Pulls it in. It's Wells. And he's got enough for the first down. It'll be at the 35. So much for the tough field position. One play, and you're already to the 35. He's looking to throw it. Unloads to the wideout. And the throw down the gut falls to the grass. Quarterback stands alone. All wide receivers. They'll go back to the air on second down. This time, he's got his man. He's really close to that first down marker, but they stop him just a bit short. He'll throw on third down. From the comfort of the pocket, he fires it to the right. They ripped off a big one, and they get it down to the 27. Well, I'll give this offense some credit because they've got a lot of fight. There is no quit in them. And they're obviously trailing by a big amount in this game. They haven't had a lot of success, but they're still taking shots, and their players are still out there competing. And the Warhawks are rolling down the field. He'll come out throwing on first down. And he got a hand in there, knocks it away incomplete. Second down here, and maybe they've got time to get one more snap off before the two-minute warning. We've reached the two-minute warning, and we see miracles in college football all of the time, and they could use one here. On third and long, he's going to have to throw for it. Right through his hands. He had a touchdown and just didn't look the ball in. It'll be fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. It's incomplete, and they'll turn it over on downs. First down here for the offense. They'll run it to keep this clock grinding. He has a knack for taking away the tackler's leverage. He's out to the 34. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves them with second and short. Keep it on the ground. A strong tackle and wrap up from the junior. Let's see if they keep it on the ground here on third down. They'll try to run for it. Running with power. They bring him down and he's going to lose the yard on that one. They'll bring him down. The clock is at zero, and that is how this one will wrap up.